How's it going guys? I'm Jared and welcome back to Bullet Hell Heaven. Now today we're going to be taking a look at yet another doujin shooter. And for those of you who don't know, a doujin production is akin to an independent fan-made piece of music, manga, or in this case, a super sweet Danmaku shooter. My first experience with Crimson Clover was a Japanese playable demo about three years ago. And to be honest, I'd pretty much forgotten about it. But earlier this year, the project was finished and distributed through Steam internationally. And I'm glad Team Yotsubane took this route, because what we have here is one interesting take on the Danmaku genre. At first, things seem pretty boilerplate. You start off with a weak shot that powers up as you progress, and there's no shortage of enemies and wild bullet spreads to dodge. But as I played on, I began to notice the major features that set Crimson Clover above its competition. Such as the lock-on feature, that may seem more than a little reminiscent of the Saturn Shooter layer section. Using an Xbox 360 controller, the game maps the lock-on button to B. Holding it down causes a large circle to extend from your ship, and any enemy caught inside will be targeted, and when the button's released, your target locks receive a hailstorm of blue lasers. This button also doubles as a focus mode, leaving your ship's fire less spread out and its movement speed much decreased. This leads to an interesting juggling act, where you have to decide whether or not you should release your payload of lasery goodness, or maintain your ease of maneuverability in those tight bullet patterns. And next up we have the screen clearing bombs, which are handled really well. Instead of randomly receiving them from downed enemies, bombs are gained when the on-screen gauge is filled, which is done by taking down enemies with regular shots and target lasers. But don't worry, this isn't as deep as the rabbit hole goes. When the bomb gauge is filled, a gauge break is possible. This grants a short moment of invincibility and a massive boost in firepower. When in break mode, your shots almost fill the entire screen, and your target lasers take away a huge amount of damage. On top of all that, break mode can be stacked, so if you're able to build up a full meter while in break mode, the effects are doubled, and your bullets are just about the only thing visible on screen. Of course, it should come as no surprise that this bullet hell shooter has great music, but even among its professional brethren, Crimson Clover's music stands out as especially awesome. Make no mistake, this game is balls to the wall difficult. At first, I was having a problem making it to the second level's boss, but as I played, grinding for points, I noticed myself getting better and becoming more familiar with the challenges that were being thrown at me. But if I had to volley one complaint, it would probably be the controls being a little jerky, especially when using the Xbox 360 controller. Maybe in a future update, I'd like to see a control sensitivity option. But other than this, I can't find too much to fault the game for. Now some gamers may be turned off by the difficulty, but the enemies and bullet patterns are fun and varied, making your subsequent playthroughs an enjoyable experience. And just in case you were looking for another reason to pick up this ball busting good time, Crimson Clover can be found for a mere $6.99 on Steam. With great graphics, challenging difficulty, a rockin' soundtrack, and an interesting spin on the format, Crimson Clover earns its score of 4 bullets out of 5. Thanks for watching, guys. Alright, so it seems like it's been an eternity since I put out a bullet hell review, and that's mostly because it has been. But the fun doesn't have to stop just yet. You can check out my previous episodes of Bullet Hell Heaven right here. And if you're new to the channel, first off, welcome. And second, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my content. And last but not least, can you guys do me a favor? Can you have a great day? Can you do that for me?